Tingle, tingle, kaloo, limpa! Previously on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. <laughs> it takes courage to come thieving in the pirate's fortress. I'm going to love doing this to you. Oh, I'll bet you will. Having a cl having a whole hour and a half. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap, I didn't mean- No, I don't want to be fish- Not shark bait! Shark bait! Hoo-ha-ha! -ha. Come on, do your twirly attack. It looks sexy. Oh, I'm so sorry. That didn't do anything. Here, let me help you out here. Oh, yes! Right in the booby. Nice. Uh, oh, excuse me. What happened to the rest of the eggs? The eggs can't hatch if they aren't all together now. Hurry! Find the rest of the eggs and put them into the aquarium. Will do, Doctor. Hey, guys, it's long... It's not long time no see, but okay. We'll go with it. I'm Silent Senior 09, and this is Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. We are going to go ahead and get the last three eggs that are missing into the aquarium, and we're going to get them from past Pinnacle Rock into this so-called snake pit that both the fishermen, I believe the fishermen, either that or it was just the Zora and I'm confusing him with the fact that we have to see the fishermen, and of course the pirates, uh, Avail and, uh, what's her name, I forgot the whole conversation actually. You guys will probably remind me, like, duh, it was the, it was a veil and so-and-so, you know. Geez, Silent Senior, don't you ever pay attention? Yeah, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, you know, it's a give or take. So anyway, as you remember, he, the fisherman here wanted us to take a photo of one of the pirates, Grudel Pirate Fortress's female pirates. So let's see if this is what he's looking for. Oh, sorry, hang on, I gotta talk to him first. Okay, oh, okay, sorry, I thought he was, I thought you have to be... Like, human link. Sorry about that. <laughs> Come on. Dude. Oh, okay. I'm a dumb butt. I'm sorry. You have to talk to the seahorse again. Yes, we're inter interested in that fish. Come on, man. Let's do this. I don't feel like walk reading through a wall of text. Yes, I do. Bring it on. Booyah. Ooh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I had a picture like that. Well, aren't you crafty one? You'll give that to me, won't you? Sure will. In exchange, I'll give you this. We got the seahorse. Yay! Hurry, take it to Pinnacle Rock. Thank you! Hurry, take me back to waters near Pinnacle Rock! Sure thing, will do. So anyway, Pinnacle Rock. Let's head there, shall we? Right over here is where we gotta go for these last three Zora eggs. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. This is also why I wanted to make sure I had empty bottles, or ha went ahead and took care of the whole beaver thing, is because I needed to have at least three empty bottles, and I don't think I... I think I still got my green potion with me, and I wanted to make sure I had plenty of room for that, and then some, basically. Pinnacle Rock Ahead, beware of murky water and sea snakes. Now, for the longest time, I always, like, I had a hard time at this point, because I kept thinking you had to release the seahorse right here, because every time you do it, you just... This item does not work here. Or the, is this okay, mommy? Face, basically, is what you wind up with. Sorry, had to do it one more time. But what you had to do is you actually had to enter Pinnacle, past the gates, and you actually enter the area called Pinnacle Rock. Now that you're here, you can actually release the seahorse. This is the way you're going to be able to get there, because if you try going out into the murky water, you're, you're going to wind up going back to the beginning again. It's kind of like the Lost Woods, basically. You have strange powers, Selenus! Sure do. I have a request for you. Please follow me. Okay, well, let's do it to it then. Here I go again on my own. Going down the only road I've ever known. Like a drifter, I was born to walk alone. Sorry, I just thought it was kind of appropriate considering where we're heading to. Oh, goodness gracious. White Snake, you were just awesome. I'm sorry. That's all there is to it. That's all I have to say, despite the fact I just butchered one of your best songs. Here in the depths of Pinnacle Rock, we have many dangerous sea snakes, and apparently, the voiceover for my voice has something stuck in his throat. Excuse him for a second. Okay, sorry guys. My friend is trapped here. Stylet ass, can you please find a way to rid the area of all the sea snakes and help my friend? Sure thing. Although you don't technically have to rid every single area off with a sneeze. Snee. Sneeze. Sneasel. Sneasel! Okay. Sea snakes. It, uh, it actually isn't too, too bad of a task, really. 
it's a little scary, honestly, when you first come out. Because when you come down the middle like this, they, like, charge at you like, holy crap. It's going to, like, nom your face off. And, of course, the fact is, there's a pain to get rid of when you're, like, when having a fight with gravity and water. But, to be honest, they're really not all that bad, you know, in terms of, like, KOing them. Because it only takes two of those, like, charged magic shots. We got a Zora Egg! Woohoo! And the fact is, they are pretty ugly. These snakes out here? Oh my gosh. Well, of course, then again, unless you're a snake lover, I guess they would look appealing to you. And then I'm probably the one that looks ugly to you, but oh well. <laughs> to each their own, you know? Where are you? Come on. Yep. Gotcha. <laughs> no, don't eat me. I'm not food. Quit it. Even though I look shiny, tasty, and I'm dangling around like some kind of string worm or whatever. Alright, so there's two. I think some of these just have a jar, a couple of jars, and a... Ooh, that's nice. I'll take that. And a chest or two. In order to get the heart piece, I think you have to clear out all the uh, snake pits, unfortunately. So, you'll be seeing me clear through all of them, more than likely. If I have to, I'll cut some of this, like, swimming around looking for the hole out. But then again, I guess that's kind of part of the adventure. So, it's like, okay, well, if I do that, you know, how productive really will that be? That'd be kind of like counter... Is it counterintuitive or counterproductive I would be looking for? Who knows anymore? Sometimes trying to find the right word honestly is really tough. Like, okay, especially if you're trying to talk, like, meet and greet yourself with a new girl, like a girl or something and it's somebody who's actually very attractive. It's really tough to not feel intimidated and not find that, you know, not totally butcher your vocabulary. Or look, look like a total klutz or doofus, you know? It's just, it's, it's tough sometimes. I know that's a random thought, but just, I wonder... That's going to be a question of this video. How many of you have ever ran into somebody who you thought was like, Oh my gosh, they're very, like, intimidating. And they can be intimidating as in very attractive, or just flat out like, they seem really intelligent. I don't know, uh, what should I say, you know? I don't want to sound stupid. It's one of those things, so... Leave in the comments and describe an occasion that that sort of thing has happened where you felt intimidated to where your words escaped you, basically. You had no clue as to what you wanted to say. Actually, you knew what you wanted to say, but you just didn't know how to say it. I can, I'm willing to say, I'm raising my hand right there with y'all. <laughs> I had a horrendous time whenever, I have a horrendous time sometimes when I'm intimidated by somebody, honestly. Or maybe not so much intimidated, I just find them very appealing, or maybe it's just, honestly, I'm really tired that day, that's another thing, but mostly it's intimidation, or just I find them very attractive or something, I don't know. Usually it's women that only do that with me, of course, so, sorry guys. I don't, my door don't swing that way, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> anyway, if you come over here, you get one of the two chests, this has 20 rubies, it's kind of nice. If you'll notice that my wallet is just wallet, there we go, let's pronounce all of our cor words correctly. Our wallet is about full, so we're going to have to probably empty that before we head into the temple. Because I'm sh as I'm sure you guys know, whenever we enter temples, it feels like they always seem to want to give you rupees. Even when you're trying to look for, like, I don't know, bows, arrows, bombs, potion, you know, anything, all the above. Stray fairies. <laughs> So, I think we're about done here. I think we can go ahead and hit to the bottom now. That's nice. That'd be good. These bottom ones are actually pretty easy, because all you have to do is you, you can sit on the ground here. Well, that's really far down. And all you have to do... Alright, come on. Come on back out. I know you want to come out. That's right. Let your snake out of its cage. Giggity. <laughs> yeah, all you have to do is use your boomerang, and you can knock him out. You can do this with the other snakes as well. You just have to kind of hang around the outer edge of the opening and uh, pretty much go from there basically yeah it's about to be night of see this is why I wanted to make sure I went ahead and start off where I started off yay 20 rubies like it's really a whole lot of worth whoop a doodle oh well all I can say is greed is in the creed sometimes baby oh yeah okay last snake I think we can do this guys That'd be good, because then we can finally get on with the temple. I mean, jeez. It only took us, like, what, 10, 20 parts? Okay, I won't dramatize it. It's probably more like 10 to 15 parts. And we still haven't got to the temple yet. Oh, well. Yay, the seahorse! Woohoo!
Oh wow, I thought they were going to like automatically cut to it, oh well. Anyway, so once you want to go ahead and rescue the seahorse, you can talk to them. Thank you, Silent Us! This is a symbol of my deepest gratitude! Yay, we got a heart piece! Woohoo! Oh, yeah, okay, I think that's like our new heart piece. Aww, oh, that is so cute! You're giving kisses to each other! Some smooches. So I'm gonna bring in the mistletoe, folks. Oh. <laughs> I've never actually gotten one of those to work. I can't figure out why. I never seem to have any luck getting mistletoes to work for me. Then again, they're probably all defective, just like the ones in my, uh, I'll Be Home for Christmas. When, What's his name? I think it's Eddie. No, Eddie's the name of the antagonist. Crap, I forgot the name. I'll have to watch that movie again. I'll Be Home for Christmas. I don't know how many... Oh, I can't use... Oh, that's right. Duh, you can't use it in here. Okay, well, that's fine. Not a problem. We'll just go ahead and swim our way out, then, since it's going to be that way. Mean game. St cutting off all my shortcuts. I mean, seriously, what the fudge, man? WTF? Like, hello? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, yeah, sound like I'm hawking up a hairball there. <laughs> Alright, now, it might seem like it's impossible to find your way out of here, because it's like nothing but a big ring round hole with a bunch of rocks kind of lining the outside, but if you follow your map, you'll be out here. I do not remember for the life of me the pattern in order to go into, re you know, if you want to go in reverse and just kind of go out without accidentally disappearing into the distance because of the murky water. So I just, I automatically do what I just did and disappear, like disappear, or let the murky waters take me to the entrance because that's really the easiest way in my opinion. My cue, haven't you seen any gold-colored fish around here? Sure did, I let him go. Gold-colored fish know this area very well. I was thinking of getting one to guide me through Pinnacle Rock. If the water wasn't so murky, I wouldn't have to rely on the guidance from a gold-colored fish. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> That's pretty much the whole, yeah, if you, in case you're like, how did he, how do you know, like, to get the seahorse and all that jazz? Like, seriously, come on, man, tell us, do it in order and show us, like, the story and how you're supposed to progress. Well, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I miss things, honestly, but uh, yeah, I guess if you talk to that Zora, he winds up telling you about it, and you can go ahead and distinguish the fact that, oh, okay, um, you can go ahead and use the little seahorse guy and use him as your guide or something, I don't know. I dig hi. Sometimes I wonder, sometimes, why they stuff things in games and expect people to... Well, actually, you know what? They stick them in because sometimes you have people who are very intuitive and they actually do, are smart enough to ask why. Sometimes I'll admit I'm not smart enough to do that, I guess. I don't know. Even though I try to emphasize and encourage it, I myself can say that it's hard sometimes to interpret things correctly in video games. Alright, so anyway, here's our last three eggs. We're gonna go ahead and dump in here. Boop. Clump. Although I'm curious as to how they fit in there, I'm not gonna bother trying to ask logic to explain itself. I'm just going to say, okay, we'll go with it. Yeah, let's go with that. Yay! Got them all in here. That should do it. Good! All the eggs have been brought together. It's going to start. Quick! Come to the front of the aquarium. I guess you need to be Maiku for this to work. It's supposed to... Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. Whoa! Wow. Wow. Huh. Wow. I'm sorry to say- that's all I know how to say, really. It's just like, it's amazing how quickly they gave birth. <laughs> Look at this! What does this mean? What in the world could this mean? I've got it! Don't you understand? Uh... Well, you imbecile, the way these Zora children have lined up, it means- it means- What does it mean? Tell me! Could you keep me in suspense? You don't have some kind of instrument by chance. Oh, that's what you mean. They're on the old uh, Every Good Boy Deserves Fudge uh, ballot, or ballot, note score thingy. Or the face one, as I call it, too. Alright. Ocarina's is up there, dude. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. No! What the? Okay, I guess you have to talk to the doctor. There we go. Okay. Wham! I like that. 
Alright, so this is the song you need to get in order to get inside the Great Bay Temple, so watch carefully. Left, up, left, right, down, left, right. It's pretty easy. It's actually a very catchy song, too, so I'm gonna shut up and let it play through it, actually. <laughs> and the doctor's like freaking out. That's funny. Nice. Wave your hands in the air just like you don't care, because we just learned the new wave bossa nova. It's the melody taught by the Zora children that invigorates singing voices. Nice. That! Yes! That's it! It's that instrument! Hmm, if these Zoras were born to teach this song, then hurry! You must play the song for the Zora who laid these eggs! Ah, so we gotta play this to good old Lulu. I think we should do that. Alright, anyway, so let's go ahead and come up here, make sure you're able to speak to Lulu. And you're gonna play your guitar, or your ocarina, whichever you want to call it, but make sure you do it as Maiku Link, because otherwise it will not work. So you're gonna go left, up, left, right, down, left, right. I don't know how I remember that tune, because I, I mess up just about everything else, but I think it's because I know that this song has three lefts. You know, like, to the left, to the left, everything you love about me is all to the left. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> I'm not trying to ruin the song, but man, I'm farting up a storm here. I'm glad this mic doesn't pick up all the sounds I make. <laughs> Whoa! A turtle head popped out. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whoa, cowboy! Wow. Talk about giant island turtle, man. Shoot. Hmm. Yeah. I slept, I slept quite well. I just realized this when I opened my eyes. The passing of days is quite quick, isn't it, Lulu? Sure is. Yes, Lulu. It's nothing to be surprised at all. Although my eyes were closed in sleep, I still see everything that occurs in this ocean. Hmm. It seems Lulu is confused. Regrettably, there is no time for idle conversation. Now then, proud Zoa warrior. The open seas of Great Bay have need of your might. Quickly, climb onto my back. Wow. Yeah, seriously, they did make this that epic. You have to actually climb on this turtle's back. Of course, you can't do it as Maiku Link, but still. That's freaking awesome. Alrighty, so before we enter the temple, this is it, guys. This is where we leave off in this next episode. We're actually going to officially start the Temple of Great Bay. Thank you guys for watching. Love you all very much. Please don't let your tails flap, and peace out, y'all. Check it!